This is Chris Butcher from Lula World and Street Brass, and today I'm gonna to teach you an original composition, hands down low. Hands Down Low is a composition of mine from the Heavyweights Brass Band disc entitled This City. We recorded it down here in New Orleans, mixed and mastered it down here, and uh, featured many local special guests. Mr. Um, Roger Lewis on the Barry saxophone from the Dirty Dozen Brass Band, Joe Lasty on the bass drum from Preservation Hall Jazz Band, Ashlyn Parker, a trumpet virtuoso from Trumpet Mafia, Eugene Grant from Slow Rollers Brass Band, and we had a bunch of special guests from Toronto, our hometown as well, Kevin Bright, 17-time Grammy winning guitar player, we had Jackie Richardson, Canada's queen of gospel music. So we're gonna get things rolling by teaching you the bass line. And remember, even if you aren't a tuba player, you should learn this because it's about educating yourself. It's about learning all the parts to the tune. Okay, so this tune is in B flat minor. And the bass line starts by jumping from the root down to the minor third. So that's B flat down to D flat. It goes like this. And then it walks up. E flat, E, F. Then it jumps down. Uh, I can't really sing that low. So that's B flat, D flat, F, E flat, D flat, E flat, D flat, B flat, D flat, F, E flat, D flat, E flat, D flat. Okay? I'm going to play that lick again. That's the bass line, okay? And I need to teach you that that section that I just played is open, meaning that it depends on the performance how many times we're gonna play it. You keep looping it, you keep looping it until I signal to go on, okay? When I signal to go on, there's a variation to the bass line. And that variation to the bass line, instead of jumping down to the minor third, walks up from the root to the minor third. So it's B flat, C, D flat, if you're playing the tuba. Then E flat, E, F. Then the same second half of the line. Again, it's When that line comes in, so the previous section is open, that's on cue, that happens twice, okay? So I'm gonna play this through you, play this through for you in its entirety here. Okay, the next part to learn is the trumpet part. And what makes this tune tricky is that most of the song is a call and response between the trumpets and the trombone. So it might not make complete sense until we play all the parts over the bass line and you hear how they interlock. Okay, the next thing you need to know is you have to play this in the octave that feels comfortable to you. Uh, the recording has some pretty screamy high range trumpet. It's okay, take it down the octave. Okay, so the phrase starts, and I'm gonna speak in B flat in trumpet notes. It's G, B flat, E flat. Okay, so that sounds like this. Then we repeat that high note two more times. So it's 
Okay, that's the first half of the phrase. The next phrase goes like this. It's G, A, B flat. So it's Okay, then we're back at the top. So it's Okay. The other thing I want you to know is if you can't play that high E flat, you can just go to the root. So you can go G, B flat, C, which sounds like this. Okay. Uh, then that, that section's open. On cue, as we said before, you go on to this phrase. So the notes are G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, and then G, F, E flat, D, C. Okay, that's the entire trumpet part. Okay, so the next thing to learn is the trombone part. And uh, saxophone players, you're an honorary trombone player for this tune. Learn our part. Uh, okay, so it's similar to the trumpet line, but it's an answer. The pickups are the same. They're F, A flat. I'm speaking in concert pitch now. And then we answer on the B flat. So it goes. So that's F, A flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, A flat, G. Okay. Then we answer the trumpets on their ba da which is. That's F, G, A flat, F, G, A flat. Part of my falsetto scream. So in its entirety, it's. Then when we go on, it's F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D flat. That's the trombone part. I'm going to teach you one harmony for it, okay? If you can't play that high, remember, you can always take it down the octave. There's no shame in doing that. And if we have a lot of horn players, it's actually going to sound better as opposed to everyone playing up high. We got to find our own part, find our own place in the music. Okay, so the, the second trombone part, or the second tenor part, or, you know, altos should probably play the last higher one, but it goes like this. It's... F, E flat, F, 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 E flat. Okay, and then the answer is the same. So again, it's... We answer. Then when we go out on the on cue, it's. Just took that down the octave, okay? We're almost there. I just got one last part to teach you. It's the bridge of the tune. It's fairly simple. I'm going to tell you the chords first, and then I'm going to play them. So it's E flat, E flat, F. Repeats, E flat, E flat, F, E flat seven, E flat seven, F seven, G flat major, G flat major, F seven. Those four licks repeat one more time. So I'm gonna demonstrate it here. And remember street brass, you have to use your own intuition. We can go over the notes in those chords. E flat seven is E flat G, B flat, D flat. You can add that F as the ninth. F seven is F, a, C, E flat, you can add that G is the ninth. Okay, so those are our two chords. And then our second to last chord is G flat major. 
that's G flat, B flat, D flat, and F going back to F, which is F, A, C, E flat. Okay, I'm gonna play them for you. We're gonna have music for you to look at, but check this out. That's a lot of music, but hopefully it'll all come together in this next segment. Got it. There's a lot of music there, so don't hesitate to go back and check it out. We're going to have sheet music uh, down in the description below. It's okay to check your parts, but remember, we're playing in the street, marching down the street, so you have to memorize it. Uh, written music is okay as a guide, but use these. Use your intuition. You can always ask me with a question at rehearsal. The ending of the tune is the first part repeated. The, it's the first part we learned. We do, we do those two sections to the outro. We'll also have a recording by the Heavyweights Brass Band that uh, we can reference. So check that out and thank you very much. Mm -hmm.